over to Steph for our data update. Hi, just a short update regarding uh, the work that we've been doing at Data. Um, our biggest goal for Q3 is to make Falcon Chain data fully uh, queryable. What's that mean? Um, today, uh, historical chain data is an S3 bucket. It's an S3 bucket called Fill Archive, and they are um, represented as CSVs, and these CSVs are transformed into Perkut files, which can then be queried with a Athena qu query engine. However, this usually lags by uh, one to two weeks, and the current data lives on timescale DB. So this makes it really hard to query um, data from, for example, like today uh, to three months ago, plus stitch it with data that you might need for, let's say, like up to Genesis. Obviously, we want to make it easy to do analysis not just for now to three months ago, but from now all the way to Genesis. So how are we going to do that? Uh, we are going to unify the historical chain data and current data into one data warehouse. And we've chosen BigQuery because it has the least uh, overhead when it comes to operations. You can read their proposal in Notion uh, if you want more background and context on why we ended up choosing, on why we ended up using BigQuery in the end. Uh, progress so far, uh, we now have a big query project with a historical chain data from the um, S3 bucket. So we just simply um, ingested those CSVs into big query, but that won't be the um, that won't be the longer term solution. We simply wanted to do that because we wanted to do data modeling with DBT, which David has worked on, um, so that transformations will be easier. It's version controlled. Transformations also happen in the same data store that the transformed data live in. So it will be much easier for us to model and massage the data to however we need and based on feedback as well. So we can iteratively improve the data model as we learn more about um, the needs of our users. If you want to test out BigQuery chain data, uh, you can do so on SciSense or Grafana um, if you choose the temp underscore BQ data source. So you can, if you look on the screenshot down here, that's how you would choose it as a data source in Grafana. And you can do the same for Periscope as well. Um, another exciting news is we have data infrastructure as code um, deployed and as well as Argo workflows. Um, what this means is that we can lean into using uh, the containers that have already been created for us by the rest of the uh, PL network to create our data pipelines instead of having to write programming uh, like, uh, language bindings, which is what was being done previously, where we had to write language bindings um, in Python for Lily. Um, obviously, that's more code, means more maintenance, and for a very small team of two, uh, I think we just wanted to try and uh, make our pipelines and workflows as clean as possible and as language agnostic as possible. So what, what's next? Uh, we will be re reprocessing the Falcon chain to address issues in existing CSVs. Um, we will also be doing more data modeling. That's going to be tomorrow at 11 a.m. with um, myself and David. If you want to join, just feel free to ping us on Slack. And we will also be setting up existing Fivetran pipelines to have BigQuery as a destination. So this is also a nice side effect of moving from Redshift to BigQuery is that because BigQuery is also a data warehouse, we can use it to store uh, business, um, other business uh, relevant data as well. Uh, because this was another uh, set of issues that we had where people would come to me and ask, hey, why can't I uh, do exploratory data analysis with, let's say, data from GitHub and try and find some correlations with Falcon chain data. Um, that was really difficult before. And uh, with BigQuery, that with migrating all of the data into BigQuery, uh, we hope to address this issue. Um, we will also be adding some data validation and testing with DBT as well. Um, yeah, if you're interested in any of the work that we're doing, uh, reach out to us on Phil Sentinel or ping us at Sentinel Data on Falcon Slack. If you would like to learn more about how to use BigQuery with Grafana or Periscope, just let us know as well, and we'll try and get you bootstrap. That's it. Thank you.